we have a seized oil pump from a 2013 Sonata with a 2.4 liter GDI engine. We're going to tear this apart and see if we get this oil pump operational. This retaining nut is under high torque and it's reverse threaded. So you have to use a 17 millimeter six point socket and apply counter rotational torque with an impact gun to get this off and to prevent the, the shaft from moving we're going to use the timing chain so I'm going to go clockwise to torque this nut off and hopefully the, the chain won't jump out of my hand got it so we're past step one take this put this off on the side this oil filter screen it's a cap here you have to remove that to get to the bolt behind it. So I'm going to try to pull it off with a pry tool. Uh, here we go. There we go. And that's to expose this bolt over here. This component here, part of the pump that houses the pump drive, sort of press fitted onto this back unit, the balancer shaft part of the, of the unit. So we're going to have to pry this off. This thing right here, it's still seized. We gotta get it separated. Now this is the pump side of this shaft and it's seized in here. Let's just see if we could punch that out with a brass punch. Still got to get this gear out. Right, we got it out. There. Get this gear out. This is a number eight hex socket. Okay, maybe there's a leverage point right here. There we go. Okay, so this is the top casing for the balance shaft. This is the bottom casing. Here are the bearings for the journals for each of the uh, shafts. So we're going to take the bearings out. We're going to uh, clean up all these parts. Uh, this is the front cover of the shaft. It's a little rough in here. We have to clean that up. This is the gear that goes into the shaft. It doesn't spin freely. These are the pump components. This is this needs to be cleaned up as well. Here's the other one. 
a different diameter. These need to be cleaned up. So just a lot of cleaning to do. And so these little metal shavings, fragments. I'm going to attach this to my drill and I'll put a little bit of polish on here. When I initially did this I had to move it in and out slowly because it wasn't turning very well. By putting on this compound machine polish material it took away some material that was causing friction. Now this should turn nice and easy. Some compound material on here. So just make sure when you're doing this, when it starts spinning freely, then whatever metallic residue was hanging up will be worn away or removed with the polish. Here's our top and bottom casings for the balance shaft, and these are the journal bearings. We just cleaned them up, and we're going to put them back in. Yeah, I like to use assembly lube when I'm putting everything back together. Temporarily just bring this together. This flat side with this concave groove goes up against there like that. This is the pump component. And we'll put some lube on the bearings here for the journal. And this is the left side balance shaft that we'll be installing. What you want to do is get these ears for the balance shaft lined up so they're both parallel. Okay, I'll put this top casing on. You gotta make sure this point is pointing up.
And so you want to keep this loose. We've got to be able to move the casing around a little bit so okay. we can get the gear on. Uh, so you got these grooves over here, so you have to line it up with those grooves and then try to get it on. Now see how I move the casing so I can get this to this gear to line up with this gear. There, just slipped on. I think we're in alignment. See right there? And if you look at the dot straight on, no, we're off maybe. We gotta go one more cog down. So we got, let's see here, yeah, just one more. So just lift this up a hair until it clears the other gear, then move it one more, and there. A couple light taps and this slides right in. Okay, now I think it's perfect. Ah. Yeah, we're perfect. So the dot here lines up with the dot over here, and this groove over here lines up with that groove right there. So we're going counterclockwise to tighten this up. Oh, that's turning nicely now. Let's put a little bit of penetrating oil in here. Make sure that spring moves in and out. Okay, it's not locked up. And now for the torque specs. These eight millimeter bolts should be torqued on at 10 foot pounds. And the back casing bolts, they're 10 millimeter and they should be torqued on at 18 foot pounds followed up with 45 degree angle torque. Oil pump screen cover. This is, uh, this is a little bit difficult to get on. So what I found was use a 45 millimeter socket. And there, it's on. And we're done.